Radio 99.5 FM. I'm excited. We have a guest coming to us all the way from Atlanta via Zoom. I'm going to get this started, kick it on the FM, and we're going to learn about Matt Made with Kenny Kim. Here we go. Good morning. This is KHEA Radio 99.5 FM. This is Kickstart. My name is Gardy. I have a guest coming to us live, and I'm going to let him share his name and then where he's at today. Hey, good morning. How you doing? Hey, I'm great. Uh, my name is Kenny Kim. I'm based out of by Atlanta. And I'm excited to be on the show. All right. So I saw, I think it was Jiu-Jitsu Times shared out an article about a brand new series that's being launched. Um, I saw it. I immediately commented on it. And I sent you a message. Can you let me know what do you have going on? Yeah, you know, uh, first of all, just a little background on myself. You know, I've been in the uh, martial arts all my life. And uh, Jiu-Jitsu specifically is probably for the last, you know, over two decades, you know, 22, 23 years. And, uh, you know, jujitsu, everybody thinks jujitsu is just fighting, you know, and, and, and that is a big part of it, you know, physical fighting, but there's a lot of mental fighting behind it. Um, and so over the years, you know, I, I travel, I compete, I teach seminars, and I run into a lot of people. And this is what I call what we call what we're going to be calling a, a mad chat. You know, as we get done, we sit down uh, after training, and then I hear stories. You know, people talk about, you know, some of the good, the bad, not only on the mat, but they talk about their life stories, about how jujitsu kind of helped them overcome some, you know, hardship, whether it's, you know, uh, overcoming obesity, you know, you know, releasing stress, meeting good friends, whatever it may be, there was always a story everywhere I went. And so, you know, I, I've been thinking about this for the longest time, well, how can I tell their story? You know, I mean, it's great for me to learn. I know uh, how beneficial it is, but how can I tell this story to a, a broader audience, so viewers? And um, so I started off uh, a couple of years ago. I actually wrote a book called Matt Made. And if you guys can see, those of you that are watching, you can see on my knuckles, it says Matt Made. I got it tattooed. Uh, anyhow, the book really talks about where I come from uh, you know, I, I come from an immigrant family where my parents immigrated over here from South Korea years ago. And, uh, you know, in the 70s and 80s, I, I, I grew up not knowing my identity, not knowing what I wanted to do, you know, and the direction that, you know, I was going wasn't always good. You know, what my parents and they wanted was a typical uh, Korean Asian family of wanting their kids to be, you know, in school, graduated from university, you know, becoming a lawyer, a doctor. And that's very typical of that. And, but I was lost in that direction. I, I really wasn't that person. I really wasn't the person there. Uh, and, and, you know, as a teenager, I met a bunch of uh, other teenagers that felt just like me. And so we basically went on to the wrong direction. You know, we quit school. You know, we got into some gang stuff, we got into drugs, we got into violence, and all of that, um, you know, stemmed from uh, not having a direction, not having something that we were passionate about, not having a, a, a guidance. And so, but for me, luckily, having the martial arts background, my discipline was always there. It always kept me, you know, I may have swerved off uh, just a little bit, I always came back on path. And then, you know, in my later years, uh, I credit the martial arts, especially jujitsu, for making me who I am. That's why it's called Matt Made. Not only did I succeed in bringing myself back on path, I became very successful at what I do. And I, I, I wanted to empower people through my words and through other people's words. That's why we're starting this new series called Matt Made. It's, it's going to be a YouTube series. Uh, our first episode is actually scheduled for next week. We're going to be filming in Nashville. We have a, a full film crew uh, of six or seven guys going up. Uh, and uh, so basically the storyline is this. We travel. It's not only just going to be a story about uh, jujitsu. We're traveling to a different city. We're visiting a different gym. And we're training, showing a little action of what jujitsu is all about. And then we're talking to uh, a a student or even a coach with a story to tell, you know, and I've, I've got a lot of comments on our YouTube channel already, you know, coaches and students talking about, Hey, you know, this is my story. I went through the blah, 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 a lot, a lot of different stories. And uh, so we just want to handpick uh, some interesting stories that we want to 
you know, portray on film and let people know how jujitsu has helped and whether, you know, it could be a uh, motivation for them to get into something, whether it's jujitsu, whether it's other martial arts or even, you know, other sports that, that can kind of, you know, help them overcome some of these hardships. And then on, uh, on the show, including in the show, it will be us traveling to, you know, uh, like a fun spot in the city, whether it's a fun activity, Mm -hmm. whether it's, uh, going out for a a drink at a famous bar or eating the most famous, you know, fried chicken they have. So it's, it's, it's a package of, you know, now you're, you're going to have some action. You're going to have some tear jerking moments of, you know, uh, us hearing some emotional stories. You're going to have, uh, see some great food uh, uh scenes you're gonna see it's just a bunch of it's basically everything you know it's like taking the anthony bourdain's and it's like taking uh some of these action uh um reality tv shows and putting it into one but it's not only it should be a very educational that's that's the whole thing we, we want to empower people with words from uh these uh i should call them survivors of uh of life yes so whenever you go to nashville are do you already have the the academy plan where you're going have you heard some of the stories or are you just kind of showing up to a random place and just asking random people how much planning goes into this oh no there's a lot of planning we've actually uh we're finalizing the uh um uh, permits so you actually have to get permits from the city so we actually had to get permits from uh nashville and uh, we've actually interviewed a few students already and we got an idea who we want to speak with so We've already got them lined up. We've got the gym lined up. We've got all the the restaurants, the bars, the the food places that we're going, all the, um, uh, um, everything is already set up. And so it's not just us showing up randomly. And, uh, you know, there's a lot that goes on as far as like budget and, <laughs> yeah. you know, timing. So everything is already planned out. It's a two day shoot. Uh, I'm going to be doing some behind the scenes stuff on my Instagram. So if people want to follow uh, it'll be on my stories where I'm just going to kind of go over what we're doing uh, while we're filming. But, yeah, uh, you know, once the first episode comes out, uh, we'll have a shorter trailer that, that'll go up on our YouTube page. And we're just going to do a call out, you know, whoever wants to be on the show uh, with an interesting story, uh, a, a, a fun city that we can visit. They want to show us around. Uh, we're going to do a call out on our YouTube station. But, yeah, that's basically how it's works. That's what I was going to ask next. If somebody has a story or they're listening to this and know somebody who has a really crazy or interesting story, then the best place for them to reach you is just, I guess, follow your YouTube channel, right? Yeah, the YouTube channel. Uh, like I said, uh, I have a short video up there right now. It's not much. Uh, but once we film this uh, first episode, out of the first episode, we're going to have some short trailers that we're going to be posting up. And on those trailers, we're going to be asking for uh, viewers to comment and subscribe and talk to us about, you know, where they're from, who they are, and what their story is. And, you know, randomly, we'll probably pick, you know, I think this is a good city. This is a good story that we can hear. And depending on how, uh, you know, well they uh, tell their story, they may be next on the list. You know, we may be visiting your city, where, wherever that may be. Yeah, so you have your own, um, you have your own academy. Is it, is it Kenny Kim Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy? How did you? It is. It is. How long have you been? Have you have you been your own? You know, affiliation and how how did that start for you? You know, I've, like I said, I've been in the martial arts all my life, and um, the funny story is, I opened up my first gym when I was only twenty years old. Okay, and this is you know now we're talking about twenty five something years ago. So, um, and then I immediately started training jiu jitsu, and I was at the time we were teaching stand up like Muay Thai, kickboxing, and boxing mm-hmm. and stuff. And then, um, you know, jiu-jitsu basically took over. And uh, ever since then, you know, it all, it's never just been a, you know, oh, man, this is all uphill. This is all great. Up and downs, up and downs, failures here, failures there. You know, that's what, what people don't realize is that's entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. And But it, it, it goes in perfect harmony with what jiu-jitsu is. Because in jiu-jitsu, you know, when you're on the mat, there's days that you come in, you're feeling high. There's days that you come in, you're feeling low. But at the end of the day, you keep going. There's no giving up. You know, we tap, you know, we get into trouble, we tap, and we start all over, you know. And that's basically what we're trying to accomplish here is uh, we're using the mat. I'm using the mat as a metaphor, as life, you know. Whatever happens on the mat, we keep overcoming it. We keep coming back. We get injured. It's okay. You know, we, 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 we get better. We come back. You know, we tap. You know, we have a good day. We have a bad day. 
what we call some days you're the hammer and some days you're the nail. Mm -hmm. And, but you, you know, you keep coming back and that's kind of the message that, you know, we want to send out to these people. So uh, do you have, what's your background whenever it comes to video? I know you have your YouTube channel and then uh, to get started on, on, uh, on a series like this is a big deal, but how was it, I guess, when you initially got started with video at all, was that an easy switch for you? You know, I've, I've done a lot of, uh, especially, you know, podcasts and videos where, you know, we've done some documentaries. So on my personal YouTube channel, we have a few uh, documentaries that we've done and stuff. You know, for me, that really hasn't been that hard. Um, you know, we're in front of people all the time. You know, sometimes, you know, hundreds of people teaching and talking. And, and, and my goal is um, to be able to do that. That's, that's basically the next step in my career and my life is to empower people, not just only on the mats, but off the mats, you know, whether it's through my books, whether it's through the TV series, I want to be able to show action. I want, to be able, I want people to be able to have fun while they're learning about how jujitsu has empowered people. And that's the story that I'm trying to tell right now. So after Nashville, do you have a plan? What city is next? Or are you just waiting to hear those stories? Cause uh, I'm sure yeah, we want to hear the stories. Yeah. Of, uh, what they got, because we got the, we, we, we got our crew set up, you know? So, you know, once we film, it'll take us, you know, the the film crew, the production, you know, anywhere from, you know, 30 to 60 days to get the entire episode, you know, the way they like it, you know. But as they're getting the film ready, like I said, we'll have short trailers that we're going to be posting up. That's where we're going to be doing a call out. You know, and we're also looking for big sponsors, too. If there's, you know, for example, you know, oh, Coca-Cola wants to be a part of the show or, you know, Monster Energy Drink wants to be part of the show. We're also looking for, you know, because... Uh, the bigger the sponsors, the bigger the budget, we can go bigger and we can go to a wider audience too, you know? So. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm going to pitch Houston to you. Um, just keep it on, on your radar. There's a lot of people that, you know, we're in the Houston market here at KHEA Radio. Right. And so I'm going to, hopefully you'll be getting a lot of stories coming at you saying, hey, come to Houston because there's a lot of stuff. It's a very diverse city. There's a lot of academies. There's some major promotions going on down here. So hopefully we can get you down here soon if you're open yeah, to that'd it. That'd be great. I'd love to be, visit Houston. I've, I've, I've visited Houston a couple of times and uh well all of uh Dallas I mean Dallas Houston I love Texas and uh I would love the opportunity to visit if, if uh the opportunity arises you know yes uh yes 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 so right now it's 10 14 this is kgaradio.com 99.5 FM this is kickstart my name is Gardy we're speaking to Kenny Kim about Matt Made it's a brand new reality series that's going to be launching soon I think uh that production's already started pre-production they already have some interviews done I'm excited to see how this goes um when it, whenever you were talking earlier you're mentioning your your Instagram how can somebody follow mm -hmm. you on social media it's basically on Instagram it's basically my name is at Kenny Kim BJJ as in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so it's K-E-N-N-Y K-I-M BJJ and that is my Instagram uh, Facebook, you can probably just, you can probably Google Kenny Kim BJJ and, and my name will show up. And on YouTube, uh, everything is linked. If you go to my uh, Instagram page, you'll see it, or you can just look up Matt Made. I don't know, it's pretty new, uh, so I don't know if it's going to show up, but it, it is linked to my uh, Facebook page and my Instagram page and my TikTok page too. My TikTok is Kenny Kim BJJ also, so you can find everything under that same uh, um, uh, name. So what's your hope for, for Matt May? Like, what's the, the goal, you know, to get this first season in and then, um, you know, grow bigger and better? Or what's the overall goal? So overall goal is, again, I want to hit a big, wide variety of audience. You know what I mean? I'm talking about some kids. Too. So, again, it's going to be kid-friendly. That's another thing. We're not going to be dropping F-bombs and, you know, so it'll be kid-friendly. So anybody from children to women men anybody and everybody should be able to enjoy the show and my hope my only hope is to inspire people you know whether it's um not only training but whether it's hearing my story where i come from nothing to being able to you know host a reality tv show being able to be on a radio show being able to run my own business being able to you know provide for my family doing what i love you know i just want to put hope and i want to put you know um um this vibe out there, positive vibe for people. And I think only way, I wouldn't say the only way, but a, uh, uh, the next step for me is to hit like the TVs, the radios, the podcasts, because in our community, I feel like I've done a lot that, that I can already. And for me to reach any further, I have to go into a bigger platform.
And there's no other bigger platform than, especially nowadays with like reality TV in, in, in YouTube, you know, you're reaching people all over the world, not only just in our cities, but all over the world. So uh, hopefully we can get this production big enough where, you know, if a, um, a, a big network wants to come work in and say, hey, you know what, we'll some, uh, have, you know, uh, season two and three, let's do this. And, um, you know, that's my only hope. Yeah, the world got really small with the internet. And I think last year, uh, you know, 2020 and, and coming into this year gave people a lot of time to restructure and think and plan and, and just build uh, build dreams and vision for the future. Is that kind of what, what happened with you or what did last year look like for you? Well, you know, the vision was always there. But last year, while I was locked in my house, you know, we did a lot of, a lot of Zoom meetings, a lot of interviews, a lot of podcasts. And... Uh, you know, it just made me realize, you know what, I need to go out and really do what I want to do because, you know, all these thoughts and planning, having it in the back of my head, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to come into fruition if you don't act up on it, you know, and that's exactly what happened with my book, exactly what happened with some of the business decisions. You just had to go out there and do it and everything that I put my hands on and put my mind to and put 100% effort to, it's done, it's done, you know, amazing things. And so, and this was just the next step in uh advancing in my career i guess but again it's my as far as my career goes it wasn't just about you know uh um success in uh um how should i say just making money you know what i mean that's uh as they say you know that comes when you're happy doing what you love to do and that's exactly what i, I mean i love what i do but how can i make other people um be a little more enthusiastic how can i help them overcome you know what they're going through right now you know and i think these stories will be able to help them out and be like hey if he can do it if that person can do it if he overcame that or she did this why can't i you know and so the picture is big it's a big picture it's not just you know it's, it's not a small picture where i just want to get this done i mean it's a big picture of how i want to influence different people so uh, on social media the other day, I wanted, to, I wanted to bring this up. I saw a post, and it was a T-shirt. It showed up at your door. Can you tell the story? Um, it was a, a brand you hadn't heard of. What happened? Yeah, so, you know, I, I get a package in the mail, and, um, not, you know, I get a lot of packages in the mail. Sometimes I order mm -hmm. stuff on Amazon. My sponsors, you know, send me different stuff. Anyways, I open up the box. It's a single T-shirt wrapped in bubble tape, <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it was – and I had a sign for it. There's, it was a UPS package. Usually, I don't have to sign for anything. You just leave it at your doorstep, right? But I had a sign for it. Anyways, I open it up, and it's a T-shirt, and I don't know who it's from. And I'm like, okay, it's a T-shirt, but I don't know the brand. I don't, you know, recognize the brand. So um, while I'm looking at it, my sister's uh, actually in town, and she says, what is it? I was like, it's a T-shirt. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I said, is it Givenchy, Givenchy? I don't know. And she looks at it. She's like, oh, my God. And she recognizes the brand she googles it doesn't say anything turns her computer around i look at it the t-shirt uh it had a price tag of 750 dollars for a single shirt at <laughs> 750 dollars and so now you know I, I make a post i'm like i'm going live on instagram I'm like i don't know who sent me this i appreciate it but 750 dollars for a shirt i don't know if i'm going to be wearing this shirt this is going to be in my closet like i've never owned a piece of clothing that costs that much. My suits don't even cost that much. Yeah. Yeah, you could have ordered, like, a whole run of matte-made shirts. <laughs> for that yeah, run. yeah. I mean, look, listen, man, that, that, I mean, we could have had, you know, a entire pro shop filled with that much, you know? <laughs> that's, uh, that's awesome. And uh, do you have people send you stuff like that, like that often? Or, I mean, not necessarily, you know, designer, crazy designer brands like that, but just, like, uh, cool gifts and stuff? I do. You know, I'm, I'm very uh, thankful and appreciative. You know, I have people who send me gifts like that, but I also have uh, different companies that, you know, it's like, hey, you, you know, you should try our shirt out. You should try our brand out. And they send me some samples here and there, whether it's, you know, just clothing, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, a gi for training, whatever it may be. But yeah, I do have a lot of, uh, you know, even like supplement companies, you know, send me different supplements. And, and so I have a lot of stuff laying around. So usually what I do is, a lot of stuff that I don't use and I don't, I don't want to waste it. So I give it to people when people come over to the house or, you know, I know people that need something I like, yeah. you know, give it as a gift. And uh, I think, you know, karma just works that way. You know, I've, I've been doing that for a long time. Uh, and uh, sometimes, you know, a big surprise that shows up on your door and uh, <laughs> just surprises the hell out of you, you know? Yeah. What, what are some of your favorite 
training brands or supplements or anything like that that can help us normal people get an edge? <laughs> you know, I always say this, you know, there's not enough supplements you can take <laughs> to make yourself any healthier than who you are. It's actually your habits that's going to make you healthier, you know? I mean, you can have the best stuff in the world, but if you're doing harm to your body, that best stuff is not going to do anything. And there are supplements. They're very supplemental, meaning they don't, um, they, they don't replace your main uh, um, uh, uh, meals or, or, or your, your habits, you know what I mean? So, you know, you should, be, you should be eating healthy. You should be exercising. I mean, those, those are stuff that people know. It's just people just don't have the motivation to do it. And so, again, going back, Hopefully watching, you know, Matt made, they'll have the motivation. Hey, you know, oh, man, I've, I've, I'm so depressed from, you know, coming back from the war. I'm this, I'm that, I'm fat, I'm that. You know, but maybe they watch the story and maybe it inspires them. Even if it's just one person, you know what I mean? I know I've done my job. If I can, you know, inspire one person to get out, to get off their butt, get out there and make something out of themselves, whether it's, you know, uh, getting their health back, whether it's getting a, a career, whether it's them, uh, uh, not giving up on themselves. Hey, uh, Kenny, I want to thank you for, for taking some time and hanging out today. Is there anything else that you would like to share before we remind everybody how they can check out Matt Made? Well, you know, that's it. You know, I really appreciate you having me on the show, and uh, I look forward to having, you know, much success with the show, and hopefully one day maybe you can be my guest. Maybe I can come and visit you uh, in your studio, you know, live. That would be a lot of fun for me. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, for me, uh, if you guys can – just subscribe to uh, our Matt Made channel, comment, share. That would be amazing. So anytime, yeah, anytime you want to come down here, let me know. You're welcome. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Right, I'm going to hold you to that. All right. This is KTA Radio, 99.5 FM. Hello, my name is Rosa Rios.